get below the sensor will know it and it'll shut off on you. And this one here, if you have any codes, uh, low uh, coolant, low oil, then you gotta get it reset at the dealership. And there's a way to go around that. But Simply just put the switch on. It does all the self test. Everything's automatic on here. It used to be much harder. Well, that's a good one. And these carriers here that have the, the manual fuel pumps here. These are really neat. You just unscrew it. So if you replace your fuel filters. Usually when they get plugged, these, these are fuel filters, and you fill them up. And this is a pump right here. You know, pump back and forth. Caterp caterpillars have that too. You know, when they've got pressure, you prime them. So when you run out of fuel, you'll be pumping that. And usually when you run out of fuel, uh, you'll fill these filters up with fuel, and you go ahead and uh, fill up the tanks. And then when you prime this, it takes about 200 to 300 times, so you have to count it. If not, you give up, but that's pretty well the trick, is to prime it with this pump. This is nice, the Caterpillars have them on the engine, they're the last. Now you just get crank over the engine until it finally gets uh, the fuel in the fuel system. You heard a click, so it's doing a self-primer. It's got the alarms going off. And it's running. That brothers. It's a good trailer. This is a wall bash. My other one's a Great Dane. I like that better, especially in 70 mile an hour winds. These wall bashes are pretty well like a sailboat. You really have to have good shocks in the back because it really leans over. The Great Danes are really tight. Their box is really good to how they set it up. But see, the whole side's pretty well dirty again. Just had it cleaned up. That's never ending. Every week you go through some storms. Well, the winter look is different. 